Hello, family. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your March 2023 tarot reads, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder ropes. How you doing, baby? I hope you're doing super fantabulous and ready to enjoy this new month of energy coming in. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining and sharing your time and your space and your energy with us. So a little bit of the lineup of how these things will go. We are going to go into talking about some astrology and then we're going to break it down into an oracle read just for guidance for the overall month and then we're going to break it down into the signs, okay? Now, let's jump into this. On the second, we have Mercury entering into Pisces. Mercury is debilitated in Pisces. Think about like trying to talk under some water, okay? It's a little bit difficult. So this energy can also make us highly sensitive, okay? And can make us believe like everything. We'll have like rose colored glasses, believing things that we probably should not be believing. So look at the facts. Now, this is a great time, however, to sit down, get your creative ideas going and, and take some time to journal, to write and to create. Now, on the third, we have some interesting energy. We have Saturn, 29, 29 degrees Aquarius semi-sextile um pluto 29 degrees capricorn okay so saturn is this planet um that has our rules our regulations our government and laws and it's in the house of aquarius and this is the house of freedom humanity and rebellion with them being semi-sextile in the most anoretic degree which the 29th degree is known as an anoretic degree which is the degree of crisis or change so there we have this this planet of saturn we have rules we have rebellion going on and then it's kind of having this conversation with uh pluto and they're, ta they're talking about what needs to change pluto is this planet of transformation in the sign of capricorn which rules government and institutions and and rules okay so be ready for big breakthroughs this energy has been going on since february 11th to march 23rd lots of stuff popping off in the news okay on march 7th we have full moon in virgos 16 degrees 16 comes down to a seven this is the celestials telling us baby it's time to get it together okay this moon is known as the warm full moon i said worm okay like the little worm okay <laughs> and it means like literally the earth is starting to wake up we're, we're coming out of slumber okay and this moon is great for starting projects and, as we say, getting our lives together, okay? Saturn also will be entering into Pisces. This starts off a five-year transit, okay? And this, for me, I makes it... You remember that song, uh, Losing My Religion? That's the song that popped into my head when I saw this. We are really starting to question structures, rules, and order. And we're also having to rely on our faith to believe that things are going to be going well. I kind of think this is going to be a great awakening for people where they're starting to see things that they believed in at one time. And then they're, ha they're able to hold dualities are able to see things through different lenses now on march 11th juno the asteroid named after the goddess of marriage and the protector of women is coming on into taurus big baby okay so this for me symbolizes empress energy stability we want relationships to be more long term we're looking at the bigger picture here we want something that's going to be stable something that's going to move us to the next level couples can expect um a deeper level of trust and loyalty and communication and building a strong foundation together. Now, on the 12th, Jupiter will be 14 degrees Aries right next to Chiron. Like my, hey, Chiron, what's up? 14 degrees Aries. Jupiter expands. It, it makes things grow. It blesses. But it can, if it's expanding, it could expand good or it could expand bad. It depends on how you use the energy, right? Or whatever you want to think about that, right? Chiron is known as the wounded healer. And so Jupiter is trying to come in to heal things. So we might find some of our um, childhood wounds or things that we have not healed from kind of busted wide open, okay? And Jupiter's like, let me fix that. Let me bring this to the forefront so we can grow. Now, I also look at the number 14 as signifying individual individuality with a foundation which comes to change we are changing our foundation all right because 14 comes to a five so with times of change just know that it's never really super easy and we have to keep moving forward all right take be kind to yourself during this time and kind to others on the 16th a big baby venus is entering into taurus baby all right and venus loves being in taurus it's the ruler of taurus it's a beautiful time for love redecorating changing your look and just looking fabulous okay on the 
19th, Mercury, the planet of communication, is entering into that good old, good old guy named Aries, okay? And Aries is about taking charge and making it happen. So when this, this energy comes in, a lot of quick thinking, a lot of ideas, a lot of great ideas are going to be coming to your mind. Write them down, okay? But also think before you speak. Now, on the 20th, happy birthday, Aries. Happy, happy birthday. Happy spring equinox. Um, this is a great day to perform magic, and a lot of people believe this as being the real new year, okay? So you could do some new year rituals on this day to invite this energy in. Now, on the 22nd, we have on the 21st, um, new moon in Aries. All right, we are really making it happen. Okay, Aries got that big, big energy coming through. On the 22nd, we have Ceres um, going into going retrograde into Virgo. We could have issues of health, um, nutrition, finances, and assets coming to the forefront during this time. Now, on the 23rd, now we don't get tongue tied on this. Pluto enters into Aquarius. This is the end of an era for us, okay? Pluto first entered into Capricorn in 2008. And while it was in Capricorn this time, we've seen a lot of shifts and changes in the government. We've seen a lot of corruption come up. We've seen a lot of like just information coming to the forefront. Now, we are going to be going through kind of like a sneak peek for the next year because this transit will be in um, Aquarius for three months, okay? So we're going to experience a lot of revolution and rebellion. That doesn't mean like craziness. It's just like a lot of changes coming to the forefront. It's a sneak peek to let us know what 2024 to 204040 is going to look like. So pay attention to the themes that are arising in your life and in um, a greater scale also. On the 25th, Mars enters into Cancer. Mars, the planet of action, is in the in the home house, right? It's in the house of the home. Let me make sense here. The planet of action is coming into Cancer, and this is like we are ready to protect what is ours. We we worked for this, we've done this, and we're going to protect it. Okay. Now you may also be a little bit moody during this time, so just be kind to yourself and take your time as you move forward. And remember, think before you speak during this energy. So and watch your thoughts with all this Jupiter energy. Just just kind of watch your thoughts so that you can manifest what it is you truly want, not what you don't want. Now, little announcement. If you're interested in a reading, hit my link tree. Go join me on um, Instagram. I go live all the time. We can hang out. We can have fun. fun. We can have fun. We can have fun and be friends, okay? Now, with that being said, I will never DM you. I will never ask you for a donation, and I will never tell you you need a reading. Those are what we would call a scammer, okay? I'm not a scammer. <laughs> you got to come looking for me, big baby, all right? And then we can connect and have a great time. Don't forget we have the three-month special going on. You get a three-month reading just like a YouTube video, and then you have a 30-minute session. So go to my link tree, check that out, and let's get together and make the magic happen. So with that being said, let's jump into our oracle read. Hello, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Thank you for your patience. It's been a wild, wild month, but we're going to jump into your oracle read, and then we're going to break it down into the signs. How you guys doing? So let's start off with your ancestor uh, messages. I feel like there's a lot of uh, remembering who the F you are, <laughs> remembering how strong and amazing and great you are, and also knowing how far you have come. So this is also about finding your passion. What lights you up? What gets your desires going? What makes you feel good again and excites you about life? Because your ancestors said, remember who you are. Culture, resilience, and beliefs. Get back to basics. Getting back to you. Getting grounded. And the thing about the brown bear, the brown bear is about giving life again. Coming out of hibernation. Showing the world exactly who you are. All right. Now, they also want you to strengthen your gifts, whatever that gift is. If it's the gift of gab, if you're a great talker, if you're a therapist, if you're a painter, if you're an artist, or if you're just good at baking. I wish I was, you know, I, was, I wish I was a good baker. Okay, if you are, you should call me because I need some help. All right. And, and cooking, I'm still learning, guys. I'm still like, I'm, I'm one of those people that downloads all those Pinterest recipes and never makes them. But anyways... I still try. <laughs> Strengthen your gifts. Strengthen what God gave you. Make it your make it your all and enjoy life again, okay? Because they want you to be excited again. Have fun. What is your muse? What gets you going? The number 15 comes down to the number six. Six is a sixth house for me. That's what it makes me think. And in your everyday activities, going to work, coming back from work, being at work, cleaning your house, 
what excites you? What are some things that make you happy? I know music makes me happy. Um, calling friends makes me happy. So do those things more often and, and find out what are those gifts that your ancestors want you to do to create for yourself, like create more income or create more happiness, okay? Gratitude, learn to say thank you, boo, okay? Say thank you. <laughs> And your other message is that of the frog. This animal energy is coming in for you. It's very beautiful because it's it starts off in the water, right? And that's your place at home. And you're a water sign, okay? Ooh, not just wait. But then you eventually go to land and you're getting grounded and you're moving. But where do you go to cleanse? You go to the water. So, you know, I was looking at the at the what it says in the book, and when you're in balance, it says you're like so much fun, people love to be around you, life with a party, but when you're out of balance, you're running on empty and you get very moody possibly and you just feel down. But you know, in order to get things back into balance, it says go to a body of water. What makes you feel good, you know? Is it even just hearing the water? Is it a shower meditation? But it's about cleansing and clearing this month, okay? The planet that wants to play, <laughs> no other than Saturn. He's not very playful, but he's very good at making rules. Anyways, be realistic about what's concerning you at the moment. And you're going to have to wait a little bit and get everything in order before it's time to take action. Saturn is wanting you to mature and to grow and develop. And there's a little bit about caution, about rules implied, regulations, things of that order. It's like you might want to expand right now. And Saturn's like, before you get any bigger... Okay, let's make sure everything's in order. It's like no fun sometimes, but in the end, it's the best, okay? Your crystal is rodentite. Huh. Patience, seeking, and forgiveness. So this encourages you to look for answers, reduce self-doubt, and build confidence. Now, this is great for the heart chakra. It restores balance and helps resolve conflict. It also helps heal past trauma, especially relating to emotional abuse and feelings of abandonment. All right? And it promotes peace and in love. It works on a very subtle level with the body's vibrational patterns. And it works closely on functional problems such as joint, lungs, inflammation, arthritis. And it works with overall healing. Okay? Now, this crystal says it's time to stand back, water sign, and be real with yourself. What is your role in conflict? And are you willing to forgive? Now, forgiveness is something I think we all have an opinion about. And I'm, I always say forgiveness is more for you than it is for the other person. And forgiving doesn't mean that you go back and allow them to hurt you or keep harming you. All right. So just be mindful with that. All right. So water signs, that is your oracle for March. Let's get to the uh, question of the month. Okay. Question this month. Think of two questions in your mind's eye, and we're going to see what the Guardians of the Night got to say, okay? One, two, ew. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles, big baby, we are working, learning skills, busy bee energy, sweet ants, honey, and looking fine. I love it, I love it. So, ooh, these are good. Okay, for card number, for question number one, you have... The Empress. This is a yes. Create it. Do it. Protect it. Do what you got to do to make sure everything is being done the way it needs to be done. This is about you taking ownership, taking control, and being in the limelight. This is a yes. And if you're, for me, like if you're also thinking, is this a good person for me to be involved in? It's a yes. All right. Card, question number two. Okay. This is also a yes. It's time to change. It's time to grow. It's time to develop. It's time to move forward. Shed that old skin. Let the world see the real Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you are. Don't be shy and don't be afraid. You have a beautiful, beautiful month ahead of you. All right, let's see. We're going to use the Babylonian Tarot. We're going to break it down. And then we're going to cut it to the signs. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm super hyper. My baby just went to the rodeo. She's going to go steam machine something, Kelly. I don't know. Y'all don't make fun of me because I don't really listen to music like that. I don't know. I like new one of his songs. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. So that's where she's at in. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ay, ay, whoa. Scarp, where you going, baby? Call me. I want to travel, too. Ooh, maybe we're going to move. All right, let's see here. 
we have the tree of life this is known as temperance in this deck so this is saying we are going to grow we're going to shine and we're going to do it on our time okay so i'm looking at the bottom of the deck here let's go right here uh, one two three four five six seven seven is our number no, it was six over here. See, six. So, we're making the right decision. Love is in the air. That's what came to my mind. So, this is a time of big change for you. You are making a choice to move in a different direction. This is exciting. This is fiery. This is full of passion. This is creativity. But you're also protecting yourself with the firewall. Okay? He... Gira used to um, be an exorcist, okay? He used to get all the bad stuff. So I feel like you're like, Ew, you can't cross this line. I made a choice. I made a decision. And you're doing it just in time. It's like divine timing, perfect timing. Justice is going to be served. Lots of communication going on. Lots of movement. People are traveling, enjoying themselves. But there's a situation that feels kind of stuck. Okay, there's something going on. This is when the bull of heaven was waiting for Tammuz to get out of hell. And guess what? Ain't what nothing popping off for them. Okay? And he was just waiting. So this is a situation that if it's not working, guys, can that plan and let's move on because we got to go. We got to keep it moving. The, the fates are telling us we got something better on the horizon. So let's jump into those reads. Hello, Pisces. How are you doing? Let's jump into your read. So we have that of temperance coming in for you. Temperance is trying to tell you, let's take it easy. There's been an overwhelming amount of energy building up. You're ready to end a cycle. You are facing your fears and starting over. Completely starting something. You're putting action into it. There's a lot of fire coming in for you. So you feel like things are moving really fast for you. So let's look at this temperance card. What is going on with this temperance card? Give us some clues. We have a tower moment. So I feel like there could be a sudden move, a sudden change of careers. There's a lot of energy coming in. It's a breakthrough moment. You did not see this coming with the moon. And there is definitely a move with the nine of swords. So this is really interesting because the moon is like... You've just decided this. Like, you're like, you know what? I'm just ready to move forward. I'm ready to have things different. You're trying to make it happen. Pay attention to the 18th and the 16th. The 16th and the 18th could be very important for you as we go into the month. Okay? Sudden move coming in. You didn't see it happening. And it doesn't mean like you're moving houses. It could mean simply... Well, hold on just a second. It could mean simply like you're moving on from a situation, but you just didn't think that this was going to come. So let's see, what is this tower about? Show me the energy of the tower. We have the anchor, the owls, and the snake. I swear that damn snake's been everywhere with a lot of confusion. Whoa, the lady flew out. The confusion, okay? So we've had a lot of confusion about this situation. Do I move? Do I not move? And when I say you didn't see it coming, the moon is like a secret, but then even this little like, um, Let's just call him a hedgehog because I can't think of a, um, it's not a possum. <laughs> I can't think of it. It's the little one that throws the quills. Anyways, I can't even think of the animal. This little energy has his little blindfold. He doesn't even want to see what's going on. The moon is touching the snake. So I believe that you're trying to get grounded from a situation where there's a lot of like talk about you. And you're just like, I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this. This snake energy has been coming out in everybody's read. I really think it's because a lot of things are being revealed. Porcupine. <laughs> I got it. A porcupine. So the snake has their heart broken. The uber. And they make you feel small. So this person has broken your heart over transportation, over coming to see you and making you feel small. So you're like the tower has told you it's just time to move on, especially by the summer. You've made this decision. You're not dealing with it and you're moving the F on. So we have here, we have Pazuzu. Pazuzu is coming in strong for you. The Ten of Wands. This is the protector of the unborn. There's something that you have been ready to do. You haven't told anyone really about it, but you feel like, damn, I'm tired of keeping this all a secret and I'm ready to move on. So card number one. Or card number two. If you pick card number one, you are tied up into a situation that you know is completely over. I want you to pay attention to the 23rd. The 23rd could be a very important day for you as you make a decision to free yourself. 
Why does Pisces need to free themselves from this situation? King of Swords, look at that energy. Like, I'm all cried out over you. The Knave of Cups. And the Judgment. And so, like, I feel like there's a situation. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Knight of Swords. So this is a situation. This could be a family situation. But it's like, you know, my heart is broken. I have to make this really tough decision. I am going to take my time to make this decision to free myself. King of Swords. Give me clues on who this individual is. Interesting hair. Um, very much into the way they look, their aesthetic, okay, very into their aesthetic, and there's something about the number 35 for you guys, okay, like either it's an 8 or it's like, not an 8, it comes down to communication, but this person is like, oh, I'm gonna go grab a cup of coffee with a friend, and you're like, I don't even think that's your friend, like, I think something else is going on. However, this person is hiding something from you, they're making you feel like you're stuck in a situation that's going nowhere. The Knave of Cups is like, kind of like, you're just like, do, 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 do. I'm going to be super calm about it and let this flow. And what is their guidance? Your heart is done and you're walking away. You're definitely walking away from a situation and there's an eight again. So I don't know if something happened on the eighth for you. You made a decision on the eighth. But you're just completely done with a situation that no longer makes sense with you for you. And that's why you're making this decision to untie yourself and move forward. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you to kind of just see, like, how, how can Pisces move forward with this judgment card? What are, what are they doing? And, you know, if you notice the rabbit is coming out of there, and this is the year of the rabbit. I feel like this is the year you make that choice and that decision to keep the peace. You're going to keep your peace. I said 23, right? You're all tied up, but you're going to be at peace with that day, okay? You're going to be at peace. Like, you're going to be like, you know what? It's just not for you, and it's a blessing in disguise. You know what? The trash took itself out. The job took itself out, however you want to look at that. But you're done, and you're moving forward. Card number two, you're protected from this shit show that's about to go down. Like, there's a storm warning. You're like, what the hell? Possibly at work, because there's a double ten. Okay? So, you're just like, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and not do this, right? So, we have justice being served. Then we have the Knight of Cups, and then we have the Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to be spared from this situation, okay, Ace of Swords, because you spoke up. Like, I feel like you're like, you know what, I'm just, I don't want to be a part of this. I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to let this happen. I'm just going to move on. Y'all are really ready to go. Six of Wands wants you to know the DJ, the dick pic. And the mason jar with the fluid, the gender fluid. Okay, so for me, this is what it's saying. Like, look, it's not working. Something that you're doing is not working. This is justice being served in a situation that you were taking advantage of, and now you're moving on. And you're not going to deal with this person. It's almost like you're not even going to tell them you're just going to go. Like, you used to be like, oh, I'm going to leave you if blah, blah, blah. Here's the lady. I'm going to do this. And now you're just like, okay, I'm out. A person watching you, they're watching you very closely, who's loyal. Their, their loyalty is in question, okay? But it's, it's complete. Like, there's also something about a contract, something that, like, this person was supposed to be there for you, and they're just not. And so you're done. Okay, I'm sorry I made a weird face. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands, what do you have for us? The Strength card. You have really got to pull from your, like, deep down lowest ounce of strength that you could have with the Strength card. Like, you got to pull deep with that, okay? She's going into the belly of the beast, which leads to the Seven of Wands. This is you facing your, your darkest. You have not wanted to do this. You haven't wanted to pull the plug on the project, on the relationship. You have not wanted to do this. But you're going to have to do it. You're going to face it. You're going to move forward. You're going to have the courage to do this. What do they need to know in this situation? The Four of Cups. Kind of sad, kind of glad. By the summer, Ace of Wands, okay? 
we're moving on. We're moving on by the summer. It's funny because I had to redo your video because I had some issues with the video. So it's similar messages with the four of wands. So I feel like you're moving on from a situation that doesn't make you happy. It's like, yeah, you know, it's the same old love song every day. The ace of wands is saying, look, you've got to be strong, especially in August. August is the time. You're going to have to make a decision from August 1st to the 10th. The wheel is coming in. It's moving things away. You're going to move. You're moving on from something. What is this sadness about? Four of Cups. Possibly a Sagittarius, okay? I just say that or somebody very comfortable in their body. Somebody who is different from you. They dress well. They have nice, interesting hair, okay? Trust your intuition. You already know who they are. You're going to leave this energy. You're going to go forward and you're not even going to think twice about it. What does the wheel, where is the wheel moving them to? What is the wheel moving you to? I have an energy uh, at the gentleman, confusion, and social stability. I have a person that's afraid about their social status, afraid about how they're going to be looked at, but they're going to go with it. They're going to take this invitation and they're going to go. And this invitation leads you, actually, you know what? What is this Ace of Wands about? Ace of Wands is just looking at me, you know? It's like, yeah, let me see. Round and round. You're tired of going round and round and round in this situation. You spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> like a record, baby, right now, now, now. Okay, anyways, let me get out of my songs. So there's a situation you're in. You're ready to go. You're done with it. And the wheel says, look. By the summer, you have to change. You have to make this decision to move forward. You're going to do it, and it's going to be okay. Because it takes you to the fool. And the fool is at a crossroad on this journey because this is Enkidu. And Enkidu was created to kill Gilgamesh. Okay? Now, Enkidu was in, the, it was in the forest, minding his own little antelope business. And then this chick comes and gets him an elixir. Okay? Then they end up, you know, having a good time for seven days and seven nights. And um, he has to make a decision. Do I want to leave my animal life behind and pursue my human life? What do I do? So he makes a choice. He makes a decision. He leaves his old life behind, his old friends, his little antelope people. Shabai, out the door. Now he's big balling with Gilgamesh. He was supposed to kill Gilgamesh and they became best friends. You're about to embark on a whole new adventure. Okay? I have the Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. You are dealing with a fire sign, okay? But it's the Ten of Swords for you. I feel like you're going to ask this Queen of Wands for some help. She's going to help you if she can. But I feel like there could be financial issues if you continue pursuing something with the Knight of Wands. Meaning, you can be with the Queen. It doesn't have to be the sign. You could be with someone who's stable, who has her things to... Who, who got... Who's very fruitful, okay? Got her stuff together, okay? Or you can keep crying about this person who locks up their emotions or finances and doesn't even know what they're doing because they're just running around doing whatever, okay? You have to make a choice. Are you going to change or are you going to stay? Are you going to take this job that's going to help you grow and develop? Or are you going to stay in this situation that just feels safe and comfortable? It's up to you, Pisces. Like, it's... it's it's your choice. Five of Pentacles, what are you about? Five of Pentacles said take some time out and breathe. You need to take some time. You need to understand the decisions and the choices that you're making. You need to meditate and you need to pray. Let's get some clues on this Queen of Wands. What's up, Queen of Wands? Very prideful. She's proud. She carries the weight of the world on her shoulders. Definitely bright shining star very sunny knight of wands they have a good heart they don't know what they want but it's over this one's over and it's danger if you keep pursuing it it's almost like you have to make a decision <sighs> to leave behind the things that no longer are beneficial for you okay here's the moon by the fish. 
Some of y'all have a lot of money coming in for you is by the tower, okay? You are coming into a lot of money. You're coming into a lot of things. You're coming into fame, recognition, uh, promotion. Like everything is changing for you. And you've been associating yourself with people who maybe aren't on your level, okay? So you're, you're like a king or a queen and you're hanging out with knaves and knights. Why? In order to grow, you have to be with people who challenge you, people who make you grow. And there is a, a secret amount of money coming into you from a, from a government source, from a family member. There's money coming in, Pisces. You're going to have to protect it and not tell anybody about it. No one needs to know. Just go be happy. Because if you tell everybody, they're going to want some. And it's not about being greedy. It's about like you've deserved, you got this. This is yours. This is your situation. And you're, you have to make a choice and a decision how you want to move forward. You're definitely moving. You're definitely going. You're definitely becoming something. I don't know if something major happened for you on the ninth, but the nines keep coming out for you. And when nines keep coming out in your read, that is very significant to the end of a cycle. There are a lot of people at play in this situation. This person who's hurt you, they were supposed to come visit you. They were supposed to come hang out with you, make an effort, and they didn't. And the thing is, is like, I'm a busy person. And I get asked, you know, like, because, you know, I try to date, but like, I, I work a lot. Like today, I've, I'm off from my day job, but I'm working all night, you know. And so I get asked questions like, don't you want to be in a relationship? And I'm like, well, yeah. And they're like, well, you don't ever have time. And I'm like, I do have time when I want to make time. And that's the thing. If somebody wants to do it, if he or she or the job or whatever wanted to do it, they would do it. And we're sitting around thinking that there's confusion in this situation. There's no confusion. Either you want to do it and you do it or you don't. And that's the situation that this person has put you in. You're going to cut them off. You're going to be disappointed. Pay attention to June 20th. I'm writing it down for myself. Pisces, you're just done. You're heartbroken. You're over it. You're bigger than this. You're, you have multiple nines in your read. This cycle is over. Moving on. I have to write that down or I'll forget. You're moving on. You're not going to do with this anymore. Done. Completely done. This individual is done. You're going to go with the king or the queen that has a lot of pride. They have a lot to work. They have a lot of responsibilities, but they are your shining light and they love you and they're going to be there for you. So that is what I have for you. Let's close it with one last oracle. I feel like I yelled at you, friend. I'm sorry. Loyal hearts. You're going to meet people. You're going to meet people who love you, who adore you, and who want to be there for you who give you the keys and the respect, the keys to open new doors, the respect to walk with your, your crown. And I said king or queen, and there you are. Whether this is a partnership for business, a relationship, or a friendship, you guys are moving on to a whole nother level. But in order to reach that next level, you have to cut some behaviors, you have to cut some people, and you got to keep it moving. Okay, so that's what I have for you. It's a little bit of an aggressive read. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. But we are going to run into your love and money read. And I've already pulled your oracles. They look good. Um, but I feel like this is the month that you make a decision to um, upgrade on all levels. All right. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go on over to Instagram. Let's hang out. Let's be besties. Ew. Also, if you are interested in a reading, click my link tree and let's hook up. Take care.